Oof. What a day. I um I had a big fight. And I was really raging and yelling at her about some nonsense. It wasn't even important. I was just mad. And, uh, you know, it's funny because I've been doing a lot of studying and knowing myself these days. I've been studying Gurdjieff's the uh, fourth way. And I've, I've reached out to a group and... I'm going to hopefully speak with someone and be able to try attend to attend a group who does the work. And, uh, you know, today I went after the fight, I went on a drive and I went and got the car wash and I got an iced tea from Starbucks and I, and, uh, as I was, uh, coming home, driving home, I was going to go see a movie. I'm going to go see Conclave. I'm driving there right now. But um, I, uh, all of a sudden, I saw something so clearly. I just, I felt something so clearly. And it was uh, the word forgiveness. It was echoing inside of me. And all of a sudden, I wrote a little quip on Facebook. I thought, really captured that. I didn't write it. I wrote it to myself, I should say. This is one part of the work that I find so resonant, is that we are not one eye. We are many, many, many eyes within us. And they all come out at different times. I don't even know each other in some cases. I've heard some, I, I read one guy. We have a wolf and a sheep inside of us. This is the part of the eternal spiritual quest. I really that really resonates with me, but I think it's not just binary. We are, as as Gurdjieff said, we are legion. I resonate so deeply with this guy and his words. And anyway, it's like a deep vibration inside of me something inside of me glows the gold in me glows when i'm near him glows blue blue gold it's strange anyway as i was driving i had to pull over because i was so overcome with this these words flooding out of me so i wrote them down and now i've recorded this to capture the thoughts because there's so many thoughts and things i, I don't capture well because I'm ADD and I they float away, come and go, but I'm trying so hard to capture them now and write them down and, and journal. I've been journaling so much the last few years and silly, silly things, writing out loud to myself and not just to myself. I mean, I thought it was fun to kind of like share the journey, but you know, I'm sure it's exhausting and draining. And uh, anyway, as I was driving and I was overcome, I pulled over and I imagined an introduction that I would give maybe one day to a fourth way group. And I thought this is the best I could do right now. And that was, uh, you know, I would stand up and say, hello, I'm an angry man. Nice to meet you. All the work I've done the last, up to this point in my life, all the things I've lived, my search for my essence, my struggle with my personality and my egos and my eyes, to unify them, all I've uncovered is that at the root of all of it, I found not a bubbling brook of sweet water. Well, I did find that, but I found the water separated around a burning hot coal of anger inside of me. An anger I barely understand. And that the best I've been able to do with all my work to know myself and develop virtue and seek wisdom and live wisely and order my life and balance my life, all I've done, all that work, I still, the best I can do is keep it at a simmer. 
And it seems to plague me whenever I feel like I, I'm making some real progress. All of a sudden, that anger is right there. And I realize. I realize. And this is the only way, reason I could stand here before you. Is that my work <laughs> is not for eternity. My work is not seeking riches. My real work is dealing and, and, and managing this anger. An anger that... You know, when, when I look into what it really is, I think I'm pissed to be alive, to have to deal with myself, to have to deal and suffer in this world, to struggle with these things. And I'm just pissed and annoyed about it on a very deep level. And I realize my real work is to uncover this and to shovel my stall of shit every morning. And then, uh, you know, kind of at the end, at the back of the room in my little vision, I heard the G-man, I heard Gurdjieff say, this is wonderful. And I've just heard that repeat like, several times over the last couple hours or last hour. And these are inner things I'm, these are things I'm saying to myself through these symbols and words and impressions and feelings, feelings, man, Gurdjieff said this, you know, we don't, the work is not done through the mind. It's through the heart. It's through for our feeling. And as I thought about it and what I wrote on Facebook, you know, as a parallel to this little vision, was well, I'll read it just a little I don't you know I wrote it as it is just came out of me so obviously I know something in me that I can trust um, forgiveness my search in life has not been for eternity or riches it was for the power I now see to forgive forgiveness is not a single event or decision it is done every day again and again you have to get up in the morning every day and shovel your shit out of the stall first thing or your day will just stink. Avoid your work long enough and you will really become smelly and all will avoid you. This is the work I have found of a real human being. I have no gospel of any kind, but I've learned to forgive. Not always quickly, but I come around to it usually. My wife may not agree with me on that point. God knows I need a lot of forgiveness too. The universe always seems to turn the heat up on me when I run from it. And then I wrote a little poem in lowercase. Forgive quickly, forgive often, forgive completely. And I said, this is my mantra. It's not a secret. No guru or book gave it to me. This is my heart's mantra. It whispers to me every night and morning. I'm an angry man and my kettle boils over often. Forgive me. I'm working on it. Construction here. Hey, give me a call sometime just because you love me and you mean it from the, and you mean it from the bottom of your heart. And I put in a parenthesis, Stevie Wonder just saying that on the radio, I had to add it. <laughs> and then I end it with, have a blessed holiday season. Maybe you give forgiveness this season to yourself, maybe first. And then, uh, you know, I made a little chat GPT image of a heart, you know, in the clouds and a man shoveling clouds up a, up a hill. Trying to get into my, find my heart, live my heart. There's one thing you can dig, you can try to dig your way to it, but. The reality is, is that you just, you are that. You have to exist in it. You have to be yourself. It's a, it's a revelation. There's a beautiful movie called A Dark Song that I really love. At the end of it, the woman meets her holy guardian angel. And she wanted to bring... And she wanted to, she wanted retribution against the cultists who had killed her son. And after all the work she did, and there was a price to pay just to do, to ask that question, the psychological work, she asked at the end of the movie, when she meets her holy guardian angel with gold flakes coming down in the air, she says, I want 
Because after you've done the ceremony, you can ask anything of your guardian angel. I want, she said, I want the power to forgive. And then the angel smiled. I fucking knew what that smile was. I f that smile is with me every day. Some, the Buddhists call it the clear light, maybe. Many names, no names. The clear light. I came offering everything I had, I thought, to the clear light. I threw it in. All my baubles, all my little thoughts, all my ideas, all my feelings. And it just burned me away, melted me. And it showed me my heart is not just one thing. My heart is not just a burning coal of anger. That may be a part of it for sure. And surely I must know it and guard against it and make peace with it. But that is my real work. But there is a spring within us that once tapped will give us the ability to doubt, to first keep a simmer on that thing and then hopefully eventually to douse it. So forgive quickly. Forgive often. Forgive completely. Yourself first. That's all I got.